Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I just want to do a quick little video on a bag that Coach recently reissued from his archives and is this bag right here which is the Swing Zip Shoulder Bag in the color Hunter Green with brass hardware. I'm going to talk a little bit about the details of this bag, what fits in here, and also what my thoughts are at the end as well. So if you are interested in a video over this item, please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are going to be for my own personal collection. And I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. And if you do like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok too for more handbag related content. When it comes to the Swing Zip shoulder bag, as you can see, it's a pretty simple handbag. There's really not a ton of hardware on this bag. It's very straightforward and to the point. And I love it so much because of that. It makes the bag very lightweight and very simple and elegant. Um, the bag is also going to be symmetrical as well. So the front and the back are going to be the same. The only difference is that on the front here, you do get a hang tag. And this is also removable as well. So if you did not want the coach hang tag here, you can definitely take it off. It says Coach Leatherwear on the front and back, so it is going to be a little bit more difficult to monogram. So I would advise you to get like a small separate hang tag if you did want your initials or something fun on this bag as well, which Coach does sell separately. And then it is going to be a east-west silhouette as well, so it's very horizontal in its design and it's pretty boxy in its overall silhouette. So when it comes to the shoulder straps of this bag, which I think is what makes it really unique and special, is that it is a very long drop length, so it's super comfortable to put over your shoulder, and especially for fall winter too, with the use of thicker outerwear like jackets and puffy coats, this bag will fit really comfortable over your shoulder. And I even like the fact that it has these cute little buckles on the front and back as well for adjustments. So you can make the strap longer or shorter to desired length. Um, I would say each adjustment is about one minute, one minute, one inch long. So you can make it as long or as short as you need. Um, personally, I have it at the middle setting, which is how the bag came. Um, I have played around a little bit, but personally, I just like the look of how it is already on the bag because um, I feel like it looks very symmetrical on the strap here, how each hole is just like, you know, over one buckle, um, but that is just me. And then another cool thing too is that on the bottom, this bag does feature four feet on this separate leather base here, and it says um, genuine gloved hand leather in the middle. Another thing too I really like about this bag is that there's really not a lot of detail, but the small details that are throughout the bag are really unique and special. So the first thing about this bag that I really like is the leather binding detail that is around the bag. It is a pretty standard coach design element, so it's really cool how it's incorporated throughout the bag. Um, there are two little leather pieces here where the leather binding is sealed off, but it is pretty seamless throughout the bag, which I think is really cool. And there are these cute little leather tabs as well on each side of the bag. So getting to the inside of the bag, it is going to be a zip top closure. And what I really like about the swing zip bag is that the zipper here does go around the corner. So when you do open the bag, it makes it really easy to see all your items at once and have a really um, generous opening for the bag. It's lined with leather on the inside and there is a cute little credit card pocket there that is on one side. And on the opposite side, there is going to be a zip pocket that goes the entire length of the bag. And inside that pocket, it's lined in a linen fabric material. And then your story patch is also embossed on that zip pocket as well. But other than that, it's a very simple layout. It's just gonna be one open compartment. The other thing too I wanna note really fast is that the inside of this bag is lined in the color hunter green, which is the same as the outside of the bag. And that also will go for the black and pale pistachio options as well as the inside will be the same color as the outside. The only one that's different, I believe, is going to be chalk as that one is lined in a honey leather color lining. And I wanna say the pink one that is exclusive for Dillard's, that one is also lined in pink as well, but I might be mistaken on that one. So now I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the Swing Zip shoulder bag. And I will say this bag is rather deceptive because it's pretty small and compact, but it does hold a good amount of items. So first is going to be a wristlet, and this is from the Spring Summer like Floral Collection, which is really cute. And I just have my phone charging cable in here and my headphones. So that will go in there first. Next is a full-size wallet, and this is just a black pebbled leather wallet. So that will go in there as well. 
Then I have a Kate Spade um, nylon cosmetic case, which holds my compact mirror and chapstick, so that will go in there. And then I have a small container of hand sanitizer and a pack of gum. So here is what it looks like on the inside. And I still have a little bit of room for my car keys and maybe like one other small SLG as well. But all those items do fit in there really nicely and I'm able to zip the bag up as well. And you'll notice with all those items in there, there's no warping or distortion. And I will say when it comes to this bag, there's no outside pocket. So your phone will have to go in here as well. Um, which I forgot actually to put my demonstration phone here, but I still have room for that as well. So there's that. So now I'm going to do a quick size comparison next to the Tabby 26, just because I feel like these two bags are very similar in size. And the Tabby 26 bag is also a very popular style as well. So I feel like this is a really good um, size comparison between these two bags. So here they are next to each other. And you can definitely see they are very proportional to each other. Um, I would say the Swing Zip shoulder bag is just a tad bit um, taller than the Tabby 26 just due to this extra leather binding detail. Other than that, I would say they're basically the same in height and also um, depth as well. The Tabby might be a little bit bigger because it does have this extra pocket here, but here they are next to each other. So hopefully that was helpful. So my overall thoughts on the Swing Zip shoulder bag is that this is a really cute bag. Um, when this bag came into the store, I immediately knew that I kind of liked this handbag, but I wasn't sure. Um, I did do a TikTok over this bag and it reached, I think, 1.5 million views. And I think that made me fall in love with the bag just because like so many other people really liked it too. I paired it with the Coach Cherry Charm. And I personally like the Cherry Charm, but I find it a little bit like too heavy for everyday use. So I do have some other cute handbag charms I will do with it, but I know a lot of you guys did um, purchase this bag with the Cherry Charm. So it was kind of funny to see how many people bought this bag with the cute little charm. Um, I might reevaluate it later in the future. So I think the Cherry Charm is really cute. Um, so I don't know, I might get it at the end, but it is a really cute bag. I feel like it's very simple and straightforward, which I really do appreciate too. And I do love the very minimal logo that this bag has. It doesn't really have any branding at all, other than this cute tiny hang tag, which is, like I said, removable, and some of the coach lettering and words throughout the hardware. But other than that, this bag is very simple and to the point. And unless you are somebody who really lives on TikTok handbags, um, you probably know that this is the Swing Zip Sugar Bag from Coach. Some other things too I really like about the Swing Zip Shoulder Bag is that it is a very simple handbag. There's really not a lot of additional hardware that is on this bag other than these four buckles and the zipper. So it just makes the bag very lightweight overall that they really pared down the amount of hardware that's on this bag. And I think that's really nice too because, you know, it was very true to how they had it originally back in 1998. So for 2023, I like that they really kept the true design element of this bag. Um, and because of that, it is again like a very lightweight handbag. It's also very compact in its design too, but I feel like it's very deceptive because it does hold a good amount of items. So like I showed earlier, it does hold a full-size wallet. So if you are somebody who needs to carry a full-size wallet with you on a daily basis or just like a larger SLG, this bag does accommodate that very well. And yeah, I just think it is a really cute style and I feel like it's very relevant for today's overall feel too. Something I do want to note as well is that when it comes to storing the Swing Zip shoulder bag, the handles are kind of tricky because I feel like they're pretty long. Um, so if you do want to put it in a dust bag, it's pretty easy because you can just put it in like a smaller dust bag and then just, you know, cinch the dust bag and the handles will stand up like this. However, if you are like me and typically just have your bag out of the dust bag, um, how I've been storing them is either just like folded over like this so I'm really lazy, or if I'm really meticulous on that day, sometimes I will just put them inside of the leather binding on top and they do stay up really nicely too. So you can do that as well. Or you can also store them like this and put it inside the dust bag so the leather straps are not sticking outside of the um, dust bag. So you can just store it like this. And it's really easy just to then cinch the dust bag and the shoulder straps will stay like 
on top of the bag. So that is just something I do want to show you guys as well. So it does it for today's video over the Coach Swing Zip Shoulder Bag. If you guys have any more questions about this item, please leave a comment down below and I can help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can help you out that way. But if you do like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok too for more handbag related content. Other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!